High school proms are usually unpleasant unless you're one of the popular kids, but just how horrible can it get? Well, join us as we take a look at the loved ones and find out in graphic, glorious detail just how bad it can be. Well, the overarching plot of The Loved Ones is Lola asks Brent to prom, and he turns her down. Next thing we know, Lola's daddy is kidnapping him to bring to her own personal prom. And that is when the fun truly begins. The likes are pretty much endless on this, but let's start and see what you have to say. Well, I think number one out of everything is the main character, Lola. Say... Happy end of school dance. Too big. Say, happy. Happy. Oh, oh God, yeah. Played by Robin McLeavy. She needs to be in every movie ever, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Oh, my God. Without question. Her portrayal was spot on, and I, I dare say she's going to wind up in the horror pantheon. Yeah. Up I, there with the Freddies, the Jasons. Yes. Just terrifying. I was not aware at any point during the moving that she was acting. It just felt like she was this crazy teenage girl. She was so just insanely believable and absolutely nuts. I'm going to your house now. I'm going to stab your mummy in the neck just like you did to my daddy. And then I'm going to stab Holly in the heart. Just like you did to me. Absolutely. And speaking of nuts, um, the writers, directors, everyone involved with this project, some would say was nuts, I don't. They mm -hmm. took a unapologetic, unrelentless pursuit of what is ostensibly a strange little idea. Yes. A girl for having sure. her own little crazy prom. And they said, no, we're not gonna cower. We're not gonna cowtail. We're gonna do it our way. It's gonna be sick. It's gonna be twisted. It's gonna be wild. In lesser hands, this could have been silly. Yes. This could have been kinda scary. There was no cutting away from the action at all. No, no. It was just balls to the walls. We're going to take this idea, we're going to run it out mm. to its sick, twisted, <laughs> logical conclusion, and everybody got on board, and oh, it was yeah. magic. Absolutely. Well, even probably what I thought was th the sickest thing, really, was they had this juxtaposition of, of princess versus the whore, in a way, where she's got these pink, happy dreams of the prince rescuing her in the castle, but then she makes her dolls have sex. And that's weird, and then there's this incest thing yes. with Daddy, yeah, who's her real prince, and mm. absolutely, really disturbing whole section of the movie. <laughs> to go along with all the oh. other disturbing. <laughs> yes. I have to say, as yourself, a lifelong horror fan, Yes. we have seen everything. Seen it done to death. Mm -hmm. And yet, in this movie, we were scared. Oh you jumped God. out of the seat at one point. Yes. Don't pretend you didn't. I jumped out of the seat at one point, and I'm not going to pretend I didn't. We, yes, the, it was the car scene at the very mm -hmm. end. I flung myself off the couch. Yes. Uh, Jaw-dropping moments. We Neither one of us really could predict what was going no. to happen you at see all. enough horror movies you get the ideas you're able to say i know what's going to happen no. next this was not one of them at any point <laughs> at any point actually probably the crowning point of the movie for me was mm -hmm. uh during the scene where lola has brent kind of knifed down yes, in the chair knifed down. Uh, they have a certain sound effect when oh. the skull crunches and that was the most horrifying disturbing sound i have ever heard it was truly and we're going to give you a little demonstration right now so of course no film is perfect we've said it before we'll say it again so there was actually one thing uh, that both of us together agree is kind of a dislike. Hello? 
Did I drill too deep? No, I'm okay. Okay. I think I'm okay. All right. So that one thing that we both agreed was a bit of a misstep? Zombies in the basement. Ah, yes. Fake zombies in the basement. Fake zombies in the basement, yes. Yeah, it's a small square room with no toilet or water or food, but then I guess their yeah. food is... They feed them people. People. Which, yeah. why? Yeah. Didn't really add anything to the story at all. Didn't move it along. Um, obviously, yes, they got a few frights and some gore out of that. Uh, but And it was implied because she had the oh, scrapbook of did. the ex-lovers or whatever it was. Uh, so we knew that it happened, but I, yeah, I... Mm. Yeah, they, their fate could have just been dead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not undead. <laughs> I know exactly what I'm giving it, so I'm wondering how many pinheads are you awarding? I'm actually going to go pretty high. I am going to go with 4.5. That's very high. Yes. Okay. Take a half point off there for the zombies in the basement. I really didn't like it, but the rest of it was so amazing and so insane that, yeah, four and a half. Okay. All right. Whereas I do agree with you on the zombie thing, I'm willing to forgive it, and I am leaving five Whoa. pinheads. Whoa. That's right. This is perfection. I'm willing to overlook that. I'm curious if you're willing to overlook that and maybe bump up your score just so we can have in agreement our first five pinhead movie. I think for for the craziness that is Lola. And yeah, there, yeah I yeah. think I could. Well, there it is, folks. This is a five pinhead movie from Buried in Hell. If you need any more reason to go out and watch it, it has been put to rest. So this one obviously got the five pinheads and that's unheard of. We're gonna want you to comment below and let us know if that is accurate or if you had some other gripe that we possibly missed. And if you think I'm pretty enough, subscribe to our channel.